And welcome back. Let's get this all organized. You guys can go back to your jobs of protecting trade in the English Channel. You can just hang out in London. Everybody come to London. So we can find troops there. I'll take you guys. There's 13 of you, huh? Um, bye. Took a lot of casualties in that war because I just did not manage it well at all. So, I should not have done that. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, I needed. <laughs> That was dumb on so many levels. <sighs> anyway. <sighs> so let's uh, reduce my army maintenance. Just a tad. Speed it up. Ah, so dumb. This one I don't need. And let's, uh, let's mothball all of the forts here. Mothball all of the forts. Looks like my friend Castile has some problems. Let's see, I gained 9.23 ducats last month. That's pretty good. Oh, I need to take a mission. National decisions, huh? What does this do? Taxes go up, missionary strength goes up. Yeah, sure. So to form it diplomatically, level 10 admin, 100 legitimacy, so I need to have uh, Scotland as a vassal, then I can make Great Britain. Let's do that. Let's make Scotland a vassal. So. For vassalization, they cannot accept. They will never accept it. I have to take it by force. Hmm. Where does this say? I can build some things. Let's go. Let's get my man power back. Let's try to rebuild these armies in the process. Get 279 a month. Oh, well, my general's dead. What is this? Poland? Yeah. Why not? Can I repay a loan early? as soon as possible. I'd rather take the stability. We have some rebel factions. Leinster still has some rest. Oh well. Not a huge issue. 
Boy, this game is so addictive. It's so fun. Do something with all that diplomatic stuff I have. Let me see what the technology is for the military. It's slightly cheaper. I would like prestige, please. These guys almost fully. They're starting to get there. Here, let's make it a little better. There we go. There, it's going to slowly recover now. I can improve my military. I'm going to do that. Increase quantity. This will give me uh, minus 10 cost for regiments. Good job. Heavy ships get a better. Regiments are cheaper. Diplomatic reputation goes up. Alright, let's take another mission. Vassalize Scotland, that is my goal. Okay, so Can let's see when the truce the expires. Table, What's that? Can you lower the table? Hmm? 1483. Can you lower the table? Why? Because I want to look too. Alright, I'm going to lower it. All right, lower the table. Go. So, Archie, yes. since you've last seen, I've lost wars with France. Yeah. I've lost wars with Burgundy. The Highlanders? Are those the Highlanders? That's the Highlands. Oh, That's the Highlands. Yeah. Those guys. Infantry's cheap now. But I don't have any manpower. <laughs> Infantry's so cheap now. I just need people. Give me children. Yeah. I have half a mind to build more trade ships. Multiply, be fruitful, and what fill the earth. Unrest. So we may murder Oh, Leinster. I don't really care about Leinster. Let's actually get you over here. What's up with all the ships? What, 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 what ships? So what are these? Hold on a second. Why are they jumping around all over the place? Let's put those two together. Oh, it's because they're... What is this shit? How does he do? Whatever. I'm go join the rest of the army. Ooh, technology. This will give me colonial range and naval morale. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that because look at that, it's 15% more expensive. Now, there should be a screen here. Let's see if I can find it. Development, there it is, okay. So we can lower it by whoever has the cheapest cost. Okay. We're gonna spend some of my There. Oh no, I couldn't spend it because that's not a core, I guess. This is greater than the base tax and manpower. Oh, I see. Interesting aspect of the game. Do the wars. Do the fighting. I don't know that I'm actually doing good. Okay, I can do cores now. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it represents, but it, I think it represents the fact that your government is actually in control of the property, rather than just like 
you know, you have a military guys take over and run it. So it puts your own government in charge, so they're like actually part of your group. So this we're gonna combine. How long have you been playing in this realm? Thing? Well we started in 1444, so it's been about 34 years. This one we're gonna combine. A lot of okay, you. Gone. Okay, you are gonna go here. You are gonna go here. Do I want more stability? Do I want more? Any more stability? Stability is about 100 admin. There you go. So you're gonna go protect trade in the English Channel. All right, I'm gonna upload these, and somebody's gonna say like, "You're doing it all wrong." So I'm gonna have to go pay attention to what they say, so I can learn how to play this game better. Utrecht is fighting against Flanders. Hmm, interesting. I think I can replay the last one as well. Six songs. Still paying two point seven five a month for the loans. It's really hurting me. Hmm. I want to get military power going, but I'm not willing to pay money for it yet. Okay. There's all the tourists coming in now. Ah, diplomats. So I need you to improve relations. Uh, 10 power plus... Yeah, go ahead. I'll pay for that. Good, we got a core. Let's see, who else should I improve with? Boy, Denmark's doing pretty well. Let's get Novgorod. Novgorod is now my ally. Denmark. Let's take a break here and see what's in the rival with me, Poland, and Lithuania. They have truces with everybody but Poland. Hmm. Let's look at this a little deeper. What happens if I declare war? Come on, who are you over? with you. I have no Cassus Belly, but Poland would help me. Muscovy and Burgundy would also fight. All right. I really want to get this province back. I want to start pulling stuff in. Okay, so what are you? What's the dish? Um, Holland. Let's see. Who is this guy? That's Burgundy, isn't it? Allied with Denmark. Hmm. If I was allied with Switzerland, four out of four, but if I went five out of four, okay, so let's tell 
Let's see what would happen if I declared war on Burgundy. To take Kahl. Denmark would obviously help. Holland, Brabant, and Nevers would be in. Switzerland would be in. Portugal and Castile would not be. It's a distant war. And Castile has huge debt, but he might be in. If I'd better dip my Novgorod would say no. Castile no. Poland would say I need better diplomatic reputation. Let's, see any, let's be better friends, Paul. Let's see what my troops are doing now. Hmm. Almost time to pay off another loan. Okay, how's my technology doing? I'm a little bit behind in the military. Infantry shock increases, combat width increases, military tactics increase, and barracks. Yeah, have my money. For anyway, this will make things cheaper. Yeah, just paid off the loan, just pull out another one. Okay, so you are Portugal. Portugal is allied with Aragon, huh? I think the truce is almost up. 83, so three more years, and then I'll vassalize Scotland. I'll take this land and vassalize Scotland. Let's uh, fabricate some claims here, just to make sure I'm ready. Troops. And there's diplomacy. Did I do that too early? I didn't pay attention. Get back alone. What is it? Poland has requested that I fight when they conquer Stettin against Pomerania. Pomerania is out of Einholt, Lunenburg, and Gelray. Pomerania is part of the Empire and Saxony. Sure, do you want me to actually do something? So we have 48, they have 23, 6,000. Okay, so I need to do some things here. Number one, I need to get all the forts active. Number two, I need to increase army maintenance to max. See, so how many can you carry? You can carry 20 regiments. Wessex. You need to get a general. 
a general. It's 20 minutes, so uh, I can use Henry. Oh, that's cool. And we get the world's suckiest general, but he does have a siege pip. He has three siege pips. Holy cow. Where's my siege general? Let's go siege some things, man. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care, and bye-bye.